think this is a sigma sickness. This is a day with Caleb. Why am I wearing a sigma sickness t-shirt besides being a good friend and a great YouTuber, great videos? He sent me some stuff from, it came from Sigma Sickness on Instagram. If you don't shop there, go over there. Some great stuff in his store. Uh, grabbed a few things. It's been a while since uh, I picked up anything from him. So let's take a look at everything I got from Dave. Thanks Dave. Thanks Sigma Sickness for hooking me up with all this stuff. Uh, at a good price. So Br'er Rabbit saves his skin uh, and uh, the Splash Mountain merch has gone down a little in value right there at the announcement it kind of exploded in price. Probably still you can find some some items out there that are probably valuable in this uh, kind of sphere, the Br'er Rabbit Bear Bear Splash Mountain merch. This probably would be included, except this is more based on the film which these characters are from, which there's a book and all. I won't go into the history, but I had to get this book just simply to have something uh, just in case Splash Mountain does get a retheme, which I think it will. Uh, hopefully they'll give us a chance to ride Splash Mountain one more time. I'll probably ride it regardless when I go down, if it doesn't shut down before then. So grab that book. Then Preacher. Preacher, I kind of knew it was a graphic novel. Never had read any issues of this comic book series. But I have watched the show Preacher. Uh, I think that's on like season three or four now, maybe three. I have the first two seasons, but decided to get this graphic novel just uh, to compare this to the TV show and see if they left anything out, if there was a character added. You know, I always enjoy that uh, comparing a movie or TV adaptation to the original graphic novel. And we have Batman Arkham Unhinged 1 and 2. These are based off the Arkham City Batman video games. So that's cool. Uh, probably won't flip through all these, but uh, I'll flip through that one. Those are neat. Love the cover arts. Cover art on those. Then we have some DC graphic novels. As you can see, I don't have the full layout. But I think if you get a set of like six, the first run and then there's like a second run and third run, they all form something. Kind of like the old, well, I say old, 2000s. I guess that's old now. Uh, you could get the Ninja Turtles and they form the characters as you went along collecting the series. That's kind of what this reminds me of. Probably will never form those pictures there as intended, but it is cool to get some of these graphic novels. Uh, Young Justice. One of my favorite runs, as a kid going to KB Toys, we would go in there and every time I would see Superboy, Impulse, and Robin, and I collected all their comic books when they came out, I think in the early 2000s, uh, they each had a run of their own, so I would collect Superboy, Impulse, Impulse, I like better than Flash, I'm just saying, I know that might hurt a lot of people. I do like Flash, but Impulse, just the costume is cool and the character, you know, I'm not hating on Flash. The show is great also on CW. And then Robin, of course, he had a good uh, comic book run line of his own. 
Then Green Arrow Quiver Part 1. Just such a cool series. Better than the show. <laughs> Especially the later seasons. Then we have Batman Dark Knight Dynasty. So this looks like it's... That's not Batwoman, is it? This involved, it looks like maybe a multiverse of some kind. Uh, I'm not for, okay, Elseworlds, okay. Batman and Women Battle Vandal Savage, okay. So I'm not familiar with that line, hoping to check that out soon. Swamp Thing Part 2, love Swamp Thing. Uh, not to be confused with Man Thing, even though they are very similar, almost eerily similar. In fact, I think the same person, maybe one of the people that helped on DC with Swamp Thing, maybe they moved and helped with Man Thing. Comment down below which one was first, Swamp Thing or Man Thing? I won't say main thing was, but I got this run because this is the Alan Moore run who did Watchmen. So I wanted to check this out and see how he does uh, on a different character that's not in the Watchmen universe. Then we have Green Lantern Wanted Hill, Hal Jordan, not Hill, Hal Jordan. <laughs> So, and I don't hate on the, the Ryan Reynolds movie. There's a lot of bad stuff in there, but it's a pretty fun film. And Deadpool kind of jabs at it a bunch in his film. The New Teen, Teen Titans, The Judas Contract. So, love Teen Titans, especially the New Teen Titans run. They have some good storylines in there. So that's all the graphic novels. We'll quickly go through the games because I did get some games. These are all Xbox 360. A couple years ago I did buy Josh's system along with Super Nintendo like the mini with all the games in there and GameCube I got. So Trying to add games, you know, here and there for 360. Since, you know, he had it, I want to get games of my own to play on there. Gears of War 1 and 2. Then we have Gears of War 3. And I have played these uh, a little bit just to test them out. They're pretty fun so far. Gears of War Judgment. Comment down below your favorite 360 game if you have one. Bioshock Infinite. Now, uh, we'll do this one last. Then we have Brink. That's a pretty cool sci fi, like shoot 'em up uh, style game. <laughs> then, then this one, Dead Island, and I almost hyperventilated thinking about this. Riptide. This started off pretty scary and I don't I don't like uh, scary games Bioshock kind of scared me a little bit Five Nights at Freddy's I don't think I've gotten far enough to be scared but that one puts you in a submarine and then you kind of have to wander through these empty hallways and rooms to try and miss the zombies and then of course at the end when you're about to escape they pop out and like freak me out and scared me. <laughs> Probably not smart to play that game late in the night either. Then we have uh, Epcot Center, a souvenir program. I don't, yeah, there's just the tape. Uh, but this is a cool thing. I thought I had this, but I didn't have that or a dream called Walt Disney Road. So of course I had to have those being a Disney fanatic. And then we have The Adventures of Gumby, the 60s series, volume one. I think I have the, 
either the 40s or the 50s series, and it has a little Gumby, if I'm not mistaken. I need to look into that. I know it wasn't 60s. Then we have Total Recall. I do have this in a three-pack Blu-ray with some other Arnold films, but this is, this is cool. It's like the planet there, and it has like a booklet and stuff inside. So I had to get that. Then we have some archive uh, movies here. Three archives uh, from, yeah, all from Warner Brothers. So we have uh, Gary Cooper in Operator 13. Just love these cases with the archive videos, Rasputin and the Empress, and we have the Canterville Ghost. Anybody in here I recognize? Uh, Mark Robert Young, I think I remember a little about, uh, but those are cool. That's everything I got from It Came from Sam Sickness on Instagram. Go check out his store. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share with a movie lover, a graphic novel lover, a video game lover. Until next time, guys, keep collecting.